hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to do this um sort of update uh tarot reading for um these actors uh, of uh, richardson uh, for nicola and luke um, I have a reading I had read for them a couple months ago and people had been asking me for an update so yeah this is going to be it um, I placed uh, Nicola on the left and I placed Luke on the right so yeah let's see uh, what they have available in their bond um, so yeah uh, Nicola got uh, the two of cups we have the three of wands we have the seven of pentacles and from Luke's side, we have the Seven of Wands, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Sun card. Um, then the relationship as an overall, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Lovers, um, the Magician, and then I pull an extra card as an advice, and we have the card of the High Priestess, uh, that the keyword is says Intuition. So yeah, it's very interesting. First of all, um, Nicola, you know, I, as soon as I pulled um, the two of, of cups, um, she's such a loving um, person. Like there's something that, I, I mean, when I see the two of cups, I, I definitely see that she loves him so much. Um, and, and with this, when I first saw this card, I was like, um, it's not just about her just being like, oh, I love him so much. It's, it's like I want to take a moment to appreciate her ability to love. I think that she is a woman that has the ability to love and just appreciate everyone around her. You know, I, I was like, oh, my God, this woman is, I don't know if she's influenced by Venus or what, because I believe she's a Capricorn. But when I saw the, the Two of Cups, I'm like, I get this very devoted and loving person. You know, someone that, that really connects with you and loves you very much. Um, so definitely I see her just um, loving this that she has with him. There's a lot of openness, a lot of reciprocity. She's like, um, and, and I know that there's a lot of people that ship them together. I wouldn't be able to tell you like oh yeah this is a romantic love i think that it's a very enormous feeling of like i really love you um but at the same time with the three of wands and the seven of pentacles i think that there's something about nicola also thinking about the future and there's something about her being like you know i'm going to always love you uh, even if i have other pro future projects or if i have to you know advance with my career and and i have to build chemistry with someone else i think that there's something about her like i really love you and appreciate you and you are my person um so there's a lot of just beautiful feelings from her but at the same time you know seeing the seven of pentacles i think that there's a still something that also is very wise from her um she's such a lady like 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 ladylike like she's such a like a spontaneous um like beautiful woman i don't know how to say that like her character or her energy just feels so balanced um and at the same time she's so realistic about things so i don't know about if they're going to you know go back to work together if they're going to see each other more often but with the seven of pentacles there's something about her just trying to again be patient i believe i said this in the first reading i did for them something about one of them waiting for the other so there's something about her just you know um keep you know building this connection she's very present she really cares about him um they seem to be very close like accordingly to what i'm seeing from her um but at the same time she's like you know i'm still like going to have to be very patient in the future uh with you um i think that she's she still thinks that there's something about the relationship that it has the potential to to blossom to grow but at the same time there's something about like i'm going to be patient like i have to be patient like i i don't see her just being like 
madly in love and and you know i don't see her like someone that is like obsessed or uh, infatuated by him no i see that that for her this connection feels feels friendly feels like a friendship you know something about like you and i we are the same in here there's no hierarchy there's no like oh i love you more no i love you more no it's not that crazy and chaotic um but at the same time she's like i have to be patient with this uh if i want a future with you i have to be patient i have to wait for you um i will always be that uh cautious and pre and, and, and you know impatient uh, with him um yeah and from his side we have the seven of wands we have the ace of pentacles we have the sun card so yeah could it be that they are going to be working or they're working together again could this be i know that bridgerton is supposed to have another season um i don't know if this is going to mean like okay we have to see each other more often so you know I, I think that for him he's so happy to to see her to be able to spend more time with her you know this is why i'm asking if they're getting back to work um because with the seven of wands the ace uh, of pentacles and the sun card it gives me very much exposure you know there's something about him maybe being seen with her or showing up uh, in places where she is it's like yeah we're going to be seen you're going to see more of us um, is going to be much more successful. There's something about him wanting to be successful with her. Probably has to do with the chemistry of their um, of their romance on, on the screen. Maybe has to do with with, with her. But um, I think that she also is very important uh, for him. Um, we have the seven of wands. So definitely, I see him a bit much more like overprotective of her she he's he feels so responsible for her she's he's like you know have to make you look good uh with the ace of pentacles is like i have to make our dynamic work like we have to shine more this is our moment like this is a, a new opportunity for us so could it be that they are like working or they're going to be working on something um, only for them or they're going to be seen at some event together or they're going to be holding an event together that is going to be very successful i think that this this um probably this this couple or if you ship them this ship is not it's not over yet you know there's something about them just keep going and he look feels very protective of um of nicola definitely he feels like i have to make you shine like you have to be i have to make this amazing for you so i definitely think that there's something that he is trying to compensate for something i don't know if he feels responsible for her or he's like you know we made a mistake here and it's my fault and i want to make it up um or i feel like i owe you so i want us to be more successful together and i want us to be seen more together or i want us to have more quality time together so there's something about him you know just being very protective of her um just you know being like yeah you know she's special to me so you know i want to make sure that you know everything i have with her is abundant and is prosperous and and definitely he feels so comfortable with her you know there's something with the sun card that he's like you know i i can be myself when i'm with her the sun card is all about authenticity this is why we have the naked child in in the card there is all about like showing yourself as you are and he's like you know i have so much fun with her I respect her so much and also she makes me shine like she makes me feel so good uh, she makes him feel so adored you know there's something about him feeling like a winner when she when he is with her uh, she probably has this ability of you know lifting your self-esteem or your self-worth you know maybe she's just very loving like this and it's like it's contagious and you really feel the love i think that there's something about her just she makes him feel special she makes him feel like he's important he she makes him feel like yeah you can do better you can overcome if you have some difficulties 
let's overcome this you know he feels so inspired by her and at the same time he has so much fun like I think that maybe there's moments where he is not able to be this authentic with others or maybe has some restrictions but with her he feels like so accepted you know she really knows me she really appreciates me so yeah the connection we have the five uh, the five of pentacles the lovers and the magician so yeah there could be you know with the five of pentacles there's something about them probably not having that much to work with um, when it comes to them showing up or having more things to do maybe they will have few appearances um, but probably they will leave the fans wanting more you know definitely they will leave the fans wanting more there's something about them just trying to adjust I believe they want they want to give the fans more more moments or they want to give fans more opportunities to see them together because their dynamic is amazing um, but they are like you know we are giving so little to work with you know it's like and I feel so sorry for this because definitely they know that you know with the lovers and the magician there's something about like yeah you know I wish we could give you more guys um, because definitely they want to keep advancing with this of them being this couple I think that they feel very comfortable this is not a typical co-stars that you're like oh you know I cannot wait to you know be done with this season or be done with this work and move on to the next no I think that they their chemistry is so good that um, I wish they could have more screen it's not about screen time there's it, it's more about production like like um, like more lines or, or just a more a much more complex and prosperous development of their their history or their character's history uh, but they will make it work at some point I believe that they are trying to negotiate with someone with the lovers they are waiting for a confirmation also with the magician I believe that they are very much interested and invested in convincing someone of like can you give us can you make this happen for us can you make this happen for uh, for for our characters or for ourselves I think that you they will get more exposure you will see them you will see them like either you will see them as their characters or you will see them just themselves as regular people hanging out but definitely the the, the ship will be fed because um, also you know with the high priestess in here as the last card that is this intuition so there's something just very playful about this energy and with the card of intuition I'm like you know there's something about I don't know if the fans have some theories about them or if the fans intuitively believe in something like a conspiracy a theory or what I, I just if you do guys if you have some suspicion please leave it in the comments because with the high priestess you know somehow this kind of intuition is like letting me know that if the fans have some some sort of intuition about these two it can potentially come true so you know me guys I'm not supportive of ships like uh, especially when people just get very obsessed and crazy um, just like um, I think that this is not healthy for someone but you know every time I read cards for these co-stars if I don't see it I'm the first one to say I don't see it in this case I think that there's a still a possibility there's something about them just it's just that there's so much potential in here because they really like each other so I cannot say like oh no there's no future oh no it's never going to happen no because also they are their dynamic is so alive is so I don't I don't know if they are so close in real life that this is why I see the dynamic moving I see I see them very connected to each other so I'm like mm, you know you know it can evolve it can evolve so yeah guys with the high priestess it's like you know 
you still haven't seen everything. There's some things hidden that probably if you are a bit intuitive, you can actually get a glimpse of what's going on between the two of them. So yeah, guys, uh, it's like it's leaving the door open, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is all I have uh, for this two. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.